Hi, my name is Bill Barney. I'm with Community Dish in Pahrump, Nevada. I'm an SBCA licensed installer, that's Satellite Broadcast Communications Association, and I'd like to help you with your satellite installation. Out here in Nevada, our dish line's almost due south. It's actually a little on the east side of south, but pretty close to due south. You'll get the actual azimuth headings at the point dish screen, and that is located in the house, on the TV, uh, through the receiver menu, where you'll find those headings. So now we've got to move the highlighter from cancel to peak angles. We're gonna do that by pressing the channel up button on the remote. Once we're on peak angles, we're gonna use the select button, the round button in the middle of the remote to select peak angles. When we're at peak angles, you can see that we have a place to enter our zip code. You can also see that we've got a place for azimuth angle, elevation angle, and skew. Right now, they're all non-applicable because we don't have our zip code in yet. We're going to move the white highlighter over to the zip code box. And now with the remote, we're going to type in the zip code. Once we have the zip code typed in, the highlighter moves back to cancel, and we have our azimuth angle, 164, elevation angle of 47, and the skew of 89. 89 is so close to 90 that you can leave it on 90 if you'd like, or if you're perfectionist, you can pull it that one degree to make it 89. Most important are the azimuth of 164 and the elevation of 47. We're going to use these to point up the dish without a meter. Make sure that you have your mast absolutely true and plumb straight up and down. Otherwise all the elevation numbers, the skew number and the azimuth number won't mean anything. Okay. The elevation was 47. This is set at 48. So we're going to bring it down just a little bit. To 47. This skew was 89. This skew right now is set exactly at 89. So our skew is good. The skew is the adjustment on the dish that rotates like a clock. And it will be anywhere from zero to 90. So 89 means that this dish is set almost straight up and down. The azimuth is the direction that this dish points. And the azimuth was 164. The azimuth is what we use the, to the compass setting for. Now this compass has a sight and it has a notch in the top of the sight. It also has a wire right there between in the middle of the bar. What we're going to do is use the sight and we're going to bend it down so that we can see the numbers on the compass on the dial. And we're going to line the notch up with the wire. Then we're going to look at what's beyond the wire out on the horizon. That's what we're going to use to point the dish at. And that's how we're going to turn, determine the heading of the dish. This is very critical. If you're off just even um, a couple of centimeters one way or the other, you're not going to have the signal. So I'm going to take this, hold this up like this, tilt it so that I see my uh, numbers, and I am going to find my heading which is just to the left of the garage door of that home.